Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Carnivorous Dinosaur Hunt. So, I'm still trying to work at getting us the, uh, a proper T-Rex with a single shot. It's proven harder than I was expecting it to be, so I think what I'm going to have to do is maybe just focus still on Bismachi Rocks at dusk. And... Uh, let me see. I don't... I, mean, I guess I could take that, because that would help us quite a bit. Then there is also the radar range. Yeah, player upgrades, I want to keep everything there. Uh, weapon upgrades, I want to keep both of those. Oh, right, the decoy we don't actually need, because it doesn't seem to work. So we can do that, we can get the radar range as an increase there. I could even get us the movement speed, but I don't... See, I don't think I super need that. Oh, I could also take that off. There we go, that's actually quite a few points back. Okay, um... Yeah, we want to keep the radar, keep that, that, that. I guess I can do that. No, actually, you know what? I can do all of this. So let's take every upgrade we can. Okay, so we're going to try for Basmachi Rocks at Dusk and try to get ourselves just a T-Rex with that single eye shot. It's a lot more difficult than I would expect, but... I mean, I guess that at least gives us content for another episode, so we'll hop in, see how we do, and hopefully don't come across any more bugs or weirdness going on. Because, yeah, all of last week, it there was kind of like a weird oddity in every single episode, but we'll try this week, see if things are any better, and just hope it goes a little more smoothly. And I gotta admit, I feel like we are kind of towards the end of Dinosaur Hunt. Like, there's not a lot of content left to cover. I could take us to the fog maps, but the only problem with that, well, I guess I could do a few fog episodes for the next ones for, like, as this goes on for the week. It's just that there's not really any more weapons to show, there's not really any dinosaurs, maps are all unlocked, points are basically the only thing we need to get for what we're after. Oh, good news is, we actually got a lot of stuff right around us to begin with. So I guess we might as well start with... Oh, well, speaking of, right... To start with... Yeah, like, you know, this is actually going to be... Yeah, there we go. I think that's the highest amount of distance I can see with the uh, radar. Yeah, so one, two, okay. So we'll keep the Stratosaurus selected just so that way... I think that'll probably be, like, the one that... Like, we'll be worried about the most. The T-Rex, I mean, it is going to be problematic eventually, but I think we'll get some time before... Oh, jeez, you know what? If I'm still getting 54, like, from just an Ankylosaur, yeah, this is going to be a pretty rewarding hunt once we actually have anything. Hopefully go right and get everything down. Yeah, there's supposed to be something over that way... Okay, well, there's our trike. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll see in just a little bit, I suppose. Okay, so that should be you sent off. Yep, that's on its way. Okay. Oh, another Ankylosaur. And everything around here is still pretty tame, so we don't have to worry about anybody coming in and surprising us. I do just gotta... Oh, there you are. There's your butt end. Um, I don't know if one shot would get him. Okay, I feel like that didn't even land as a hit, despite what it looked like. Because I didn't actually get the sound of... Oh, no. Okay, it did. Normally, you actually got to hear, like, the impact sound of the shot, but for some reason it didn't that time. I 
Yeah, we're still in the clear. I mean, the one nice thing about the radar is it definitely lets you know... Okay, you're kind of safe around here from anything that's going to possibly give you trouble. And now uh, we got something over here. Now, I think that'll take the Parasaur... Oh, there's... The... Okay, so we actually had two Parasaurs. Okay, that should be the two of you down. Yeah. Still no Rex or Serratos. I'll definitely take that. Uh, let's get you on your way. Now, I wonder if it would actually register that these guys are critical shots because only, like, one shot and they went down. Not where they actually landed on them. And yeah, like, I'm still getting around 40 to 50 per dinosaur, so this will still be a nice amount of points to get and send back. Well, this is easily why I don't normally hunt with the radar. It basically turns into, like, Call of Duty, where you get a gun, everybody else doesn't. There are still some dangers out... Ooh. Okay, um... Just... I just want to try to get it so that way I'm looking at him without anything in the way, so I think that should be the lungs. Yeah, and... Man, still nothing coming up. How am I actually doing for ammo? I still got ten shots. Okay, well, he... Yeah, so he's gone down right there. And still nothing else popping up as, like, danger for the radar. So that's very handy. Go run up, grab him, and try and go for something else. Now, since there is only one Rex that seems to spawn per map, or, like, per load-in, that's why I'm kind of more focusing on, ah, oh, let's just go for everything, and then, rather than just try to completely hone... Oh. Okay, there was something. A Serato. Yeah, so we got Serato up there, but I think I'll start with... Okay, I don't know if that'll take him down, but we'll at least get that shot off. And see now about the Serato over here. I don't really know what it's up to. It seemed like he was running off, but... Well, here we go. We might actually get a really nice shot in at him. Okay, just come on the other side of the cactus. Now, will that put him down before he gets here? Yeah, it will. Okay. Kind of worried there, because... Like, every other dinosaurs, I've been fairly good at getting some of the heart shots to put them down instantly. But the Stratos have been one... have been a bit more difficult, it seems. One fourteen for that. And that's with the radar... Wow. That actually was a very good scoring one. Because that would be 25%. That might actually be around 35% off of the score. So that was a fairly good animal. Kind of surprised at how much he actually gave us for the points. Well, we seem to be in the clear to be able to run and get the trike. And the map is looking a lot more empty now than when we started. The Parasaurs went down together, so we don't have to worry about those guys. I think it will basically be just trying to figure out where the Rex might be now. There probably is still another Ceratosaurus somewhere. Because I don't actually know how it, like, decides what the spawns will be. I don't know. Oh. Okay, well, we got another Cerato over... Cerato and a... Okay. Well, this is interesting, because I got the two of them basically side-by-side, side, way on the other side of that.
And they might actually be the only other animals on the entire map to go for. Oh, no, there is a third. It's herbivore of... S oh. Ooh, that's a big Rex. 7.86 tons. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, actually, there was more... Maybe it was just moving from him. I thought there was actually something that kind of came around him there. But if they're parting ways like that, I should be able to spot the Serrat... Oh. Okay, maybe not. I was going to say, I think I could spot the Serrato on its own. Take that down. Well, it looks like the Rex is walking over to kind of keep an eye on him. Covers a lot of ground as he moves, too. Now, I thought that would have been an eye shot. And yeah, here comes the homing thing from him. Ah! Okay, I feel like something's wrong there. That should have been the eye shot, and I don't know why it didn't register. Another thing, too, is there's almost like this weird delay of you shoot, then it takes a lot longer for the bullet to land than you'd expect it to. So I'm going to focus more, just go after the Rex proper. Like, something is weird with its hitbox. I can understand the hard shots, and he stays up for a while. But the eye shot, I thought, was supposed to be you get it, and he goes down. And with how accurate the sniper rifle is, it should not be this hard to hit it. I don't know if this is another Switch version only it's giving a glitch, but... I'm going to try again, just hard focus on trying to get the Rex down. Actually, from looks of it... I'm wondering if even animals have more, like, set spawn locations, because this almost looks like an identical layout to what we had the first time, didn't it? Like, a feud in the north. Yeah, everything immediately around us is all herbivores. But I'm going to try for this Rex, because, I don't know, something was weird there. I could have sworn that would have been a perfect eye shot. I mean, here I'm probably mistaken, but I don't know, just, it feels like for as many as I've tried, at least one of them should have been a, like, proper land by now. Actually, I wonder, maybe it is better to just try aiming for the heart than anything else. I've been trying to also, when he's been charging, get a shot right into the mouth, because I think in Dinosaur Hunter Reborn, that could actually put a Rex down if you got it shot in its mouth. I Again, it's hard to say, just because the Switch version has seemed like it's been the worst version of the Dinosaur Hunt ports. Like, I have... I've heard of some issues that the PS4 and the Xbox One have been having, but it seems like, for whatever reason, the Switch is the one that's had the most, like, technical bugs, glitches, errors, stuff like that to it. I don't know, it's because the hardware just isn't up to snuff for what they've tried doing, or... It was just the one they didn't have, they had to gut to fit on? Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on you. Never mind. Okay, how did that take you down? Because that had to have been, I guess, the mouth. Like, that was three hits, so... Yeah, I don't know how that registered as being... I don't know, there's some weird stuff, but it... Actually, let me see, because if these are the only two Serratos, it almost seems like then the maps are each static to how many of what animal spawns. 
So I think we can count... Actually, I think every time we've been on this match, -y, it's been kind of like this, where there's only been two Serratos, one Rex, and the rest were like a smattering of herbivores. Okay. Ah, oh, see, the scent is definitely not in our favor, but... I'm not going to aim for the eye on him, because, again, I've... Not been having the best of luck with that. Well, there's you down with just the one. Yeah, so you were only 80. See, that other one we got must have been a very good scoring one. I'll head down, get the other one, and... I mean, if it is the case where you actually can know the exact number of what species will be on a map, it's... Not even like it's just randomness, then. I don't know how to feel about that, really. Like, you could argue, well, then you know you can keep your hunt safe, because if you find the two Serratos, you don't have to worry about any others, or you get the one Rex, you know there's not another Rex. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know how to feel about that. To me, the hunt is more just the unknown, and you only kind of figure that out once you're actually on it. But it does seem like this is a pattern where it's just the three carnivores is a threat, and then everything else is just what have you out there. Okay, we are getting pretty close to him, though, and I don't exactly like that, but... Oh, right, let me, uh... Oh, I must be on the... Oh! I see a butt. Yeah, there's his rear end, but I don't think I'll be able to shoot right up through it to get him down easy. Actually, not sure... I'm not sure what he's up to, just stand... Oh, actually, there are a couple of others. So there's at least one more, so I guess it does still have randomness of how many per, like, map. You know, that, or maybe it's three to one. Fortunately, he's not moving. Hard to get a nice shot at him if he's gonna be like that. And again, I'm not going to go for the head as I don't think that actually has been working out too well for me. But if I can just get over here. I think that'll... yeah, that was the lungs, so that was at least him taken out pretty nicely. And then the other one, who's way out there a bit... well, I shouldn't say way out there, because they are starting to move in. Yeah, they're actually... so maybe at the 300 meter is like the radius for... They'll pick up there's a kill and try moving into it. Oh, there you are. Oh. Okay, so maybe for the heart, I've just been aiming a little too low, because that was an instant drop. I guess normally I'm thinking of it being, like, almost right between the arms, where it's actually up a bit higher between the shoulders. Either way, though, we got ourselves, I think, the last of the carnivores for the map. So everything else is basically just going to be herbivores if I want to go after it, and to be honest, I might as well. Aw, oh, you almost look nice enough to pet. You kind of forget that it's going to be a man-eating monster when it's awake. Now we'll send him on his way and then just go for anything else we can find. Yeah, the Rex, I think I am going to stop trying to go for the eye shot. I don't know if it's just like it's such a super small one that it's incredibly hard to hit. Or if it is something where it's just, we think it can be the, like, 
the one shot to down it, but really it's actually hitting somewhere else. Oh, there's actually another Stratosaurus out here. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, so once you actually get the all that animal off of a map, you actually lose the option of it in the radar. Because I can't select the Rex anymore. There's the Strato, and it skips straight to Stego. So where's our last little guy? Looks like he's... Okay, he's probably be on the other side of that ridge, but before that one there. Although, truth be told, this is basically giving our scent away, and... Uh, you know what? I'll try. See, I... Don't think it actually... Yeah, it didn't register as a hit on him. There we go. I do gotta admit, I hate how sensitive the zoom, or how, like, dull it feels to try to get the zoom working properly. Like, for when you're up close, you want to have it to be... That's basically like a shooting gallery right now. Oh, hang on, there's somebody who tried to get away. Oh, you're going to run right to us, aren't you? And drop in just a moment. Thank you! That's nice when they're actually courteous like that. Okay, but we can send you off. Oh, I guess that also... Okay, so there might still be... Oh, no, Serato is off of the radar. So we've gotten all the Serratos now. That's kind of handy if you are, like, target hunting something to know, okay, I've my hunt's over. I got every Serato I could, or I got every Stego, or... Well, maybe not every Stego, because let's face it, they're not exactly a hard thing to hunt. But if you have a specific animal you want to clear off a map and focus only on hunting those, the radar's a nice way of knowing you've gotten them all on an outing. I just want to see, because, like, is that an... That is an Ankylosaur. I thought I would have gotten a nice shot off of there. I guess maybe I was too far forward with the... Oh, and then I guess those trees have, like, a hitbox on. Okay, so the treetops will actually act like a barrier and stop your shots. What am I doing for ammo? Okay, I only got one more, so I guess what we'll do, we'll take the Anki, and then we'll use the next dinosaur as, like, the ender for this hunt. But yeah, I'm going to have to just heart shots for the Rex, and hopefully it actually does take it down proper. 57 is... wait, really? For two hits, that still got me 57. I'll admit, I'm a bit impressed at that. Okay, I don't know why the music suddenly changed to that, unless it was like... The trike was going to try coming after me, but just wasn't able to? Oh, I actually got all Stegosaurus, too. Yeah, I got it. This was actually... I mean, the first one would have been a very nice hunt if I actually got that shot to down him. Down that Rex, but overall, this was still another fairly productive hunt when you think about it. We got the Rex, we got the Stratos, we got the Stego, and we got an Ankylosaur. I mean, I do have the Revolver, but I don't really trust how capable it is for, like, accuracy or stuff. So we'll just head back with this, and we are actually doing pretty good timing for, like, the episode's length. And beam me up. Let's get on out of here. We up we go. Okay, so... 88% accuracy, 16 shots made, and 6 were only... only 6 were critical. Okay. Yeah, so... It's because of the 3 hits it took to down the Rex that... 
and that's Y. And then we got the first Serato for 80. That was only one hit, but yeah, the equipment penalty, penalty really takes some stuff off. That was 83. That was 83 as well. And that was 34. That's because of the three with him charging at us. But yeah, there we go. So how are we sitting for points now? Ah, uh, do do do. 571, so I mean, I can't buy quite every... Well, I mean, the decoy doesn't work, so actually... Could almost buy everything, although for this stage I don't really need that, but... Yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you'd kind of like to see from the series for, like, the next little while. Like, I've gotten everything basically unlocked to use. It's just that I don't know what to go after. We've got... Every map opened up, every dinosaur done. I might do a fog map, like, next episode. I actually don't know if I would do the pro license here. It might actually work more to just keep that little roster and see. But thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunt. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give the video a like. And if you have any comments, tips, tricks, or requests of what I should do in the series, let me know in the comments down below. I will probably come back to this if the game does see DLC or updates or fixes, stuff like that, but for now... We are kind of tapped out, because we're basically right back to start, and we've done the pro license a bit. If there are targets or requests you'd like, just let me know, and I will happily try to take them on. But, for now, we're going to end things off here. So please remember, as always, survivors, to take care... Actually, you know what, let me just hang on. There we go, that's a much nicer screen to end on. Please remember, as always, survivors, to take care, and stay alive.